Let's make this hair poke straight. Hi everyone, it's Nisha. So you've been asking uh, for me to do hair tutorial how I do my blunt one length bob polka straight but with a bit of volume and I think I've done a video very similar but I think there was much more to it I'm trying always to simplify those looks so it doesn't take as long you know I've got very fine hair it takes ages now my hair um because I had my roots done yesterday in the evening I just when I've washed off the color I just blast dried it and went to bed so my hair was washed yesterday that's how I woke up so it looks like I've got a bit of volume here because I slept on it usually I would do it on the same day I wash my hair so the beginning of it will be very similar to what I did with my curly hair I am going to put some volume on the top of my head because I like this to be quite high up okay I already have more volume also because I have now fresh bleach in my hair and that dries out your hair swells their hair cuticles so your hair naturally looks a bit fuller when you've had bleach put in it once my root starts coming through and my natural color my hair gets much flatter and greasy much quicker Okay, so first thing I'm going to use is the little Babyliss mini uh, crimper, which is called Root Boost or something like that. I think this is quite difficult to get now, but you can get things that are similar. It's just a really, really tiny crimper. And that's what we will use for creating volume without excessive combing and putting Velcro rollers in. So I am going to separate probably that much because I want this to cover the crimping and I will take very thin sections of my hair and crimp the root so go as close as you can to your um, scalp obviously be careful not to burn yourself you can also go a bit higher up and can you see that crimping that's what will give us the volume I'm going to do some at the back because you know flat head and all that we've talked about my flat head that I don't get that bump at the back so I have to create one so you've seen me doing it on my other hair tutorials. So I might speed through it. Um, I'm basically going just in this area. Okay, so after you've put all the crimping in and you put it wherever you want, wherever you want volume, if you want more volume on the sides, you would go much lower and put it in here. I only want it on the top, so I, I probably go round here and quite high up, but remember to leave enough hair on the top to cover that crimping. So wait for it to completely cool down and look, if I just go like this now, look at the volume I get and this gets better even next day. Sorry if you can hear my dog pitter patter, but I told you whenever I film he needs to disturb me. Okay, now we will go to straightness and actually I just have been sent from Irresistible Me new straighteners. So we're going to try them out today. 
they come with the American plug but all you do is buy US to UK adapter I, I have quite few of them because I have quite a few tools from Irresistible Me and this has international voltage so you can use it around the world uh, let me tell you what they say about this straightness so this is the latest generation infrared digital styling iron featuring gold titanium coated plates it's very pretty so it's like black with this rose gold trimming featuring gold titanium coated plates that enhance its durability and heat transfer unlike conventional irons the negative ions emitted from the ionic generator seal, seal in the natural oil, moisture and color in the hair, giving you beautifully styled, frizz-free, naturally shiny hair. The styling will last longer against air, humidity and everyday stress. So what you get is high-tech, flexible floating ceramic and tourmaline plates plates that keep the temperature constant throughout the styling session and make this perfect for either straightening or curling. A revolutionary infrared technology that generates uniform heat so styling is fast and safe. So you can see here that's where the infrared heat comes from. I will show you, you will see it when I uh, plug the straighteners in. Another great feature is got the control buttons on the inside. You know, like a lot of tools have the control buttons here. And whenever I style my hair by mistake, because you're holding it here, you keep changing the heat setting. So I'm really, really pleased with that, that it has the controls inside. It also has intelligent LCD display. I will show you that when I plug them in. Fast heating, adjustable temperature control, so you have it between 90 degrees and 230 degrees centigrade, which is 190 to 450 Fahrenheit. Automatic shut off function after one hour of use, so that's quite good for safety. If you've been using your straightening irons, you forgot to unplug it, they will turn themselves off after one hour. Lightweight, one inch floating plates, swivel cord, which is very important too, worldwide dual voltage and one year limited warranty. So let's plug them in. I haven't used them yet, so I'm trying them for the first time with you. So I'm just gonna put the adapter, plug it in. Okay, so in here in the middle, we've got on, or on and off button. There is your LCD display. Can you see? That's it. And then you've got plus and minus to, con well, it's not plus and minus. It's got like arrows to make it hotter or cooler. Green light here, so you know this is on. And can you see the infra? red heat here can you see the red so let's for it wait for it to heat up it heats up very quickly okay i have it heated up now so we will start straightening so first of all i'm going to start sectioning my hair remember the smaller sections the better the heat then can penetrate both sides of your hair take my straighteners and I go straight down so remember I'm trying to do it poker straight I don't bevel it under or out I just go straight down And I don't go too close to my roots because I don't want my roots to be very straight and flat to my head. So, hmm, very good. Very, with one pass, you get a pretty straight. Okay, take a next section. Okay, 
the smaller the sections, the straighter the hair because if you take very thick section, the heat is not going to seal the hair in the middle of that section and you know. So I just go straight down, wow, that is really good. Oh, I like it. Next section. So I am going to go around my uh, my head till I get to the top. So I will speed this bit, bit up because it will be too long. Wow. That is really good. You know, um, I have, I usually use my Uh, GHD straightness and I usually have to do more than one pass so this straightens my hair with just one pass and remember also you don't need to really squeeze the plates that's what they mean by floating plates just make sure that you are holding your hair with the straightness but don't really squeeze it I'm not the type's gotta have someone I'm not the type's gotta be in love I had a lot of people come and go And plus anyway, I'm used to being so low But it was good when you came to me You were the one to make me believe That I could be better the week Now I'm getting closer to my crimping And that's where you have to be very careful So don't put your straighteners too close to uh, your scalp so you don't straighten the crimping. Now I'm going just to separate that mohawk section. And now I'm just going to start picking out the bits that I know are not straight. And remember, don't go here too close to your scalp because that's where your crimping is and you want to keep that. You don't want to straighten it. Now here right on the top where you don't have the crimping like for example this section I will go close to my um, scalp and did you see I did that just to lift this bit so that is like adding me a bit extra volume on those bits that are not crimped now I'm going to take the front of my fringe problem is I have a permanent parting because that's how I you know my head right and I slept right again go a bit make like this bump here so your fringe at the front is not sitting too flat against your forehead as you can see I had just the sides made a bit shorter um, I had everything was one length but I 
found it was dragging me down a bit so I thought I have these two little pieces just around my face and that's it so as you can see it looks pretty flat but then I just go over my crimping and immediately giving myself more volume and I don't have to back comb it or anything so yeah these are really good yeah it was very quick with a single pass I was getting a lovely straight finish now as you know because I've got pretty fine sides I sometimes use small extensions and these are actually ones that I've always had from Irresistible Me as well. I got these years ago. These are human hair. So I put some low lights in it to match my own hair and I also cut them. So to make my sides thicker, I will often add these. So I put them like this see where my hair is about here so I will part my hair here and attach these now that is too high this is pretty tricky And that is giving me more thickness here at the front. So go like this to get your volume going then very gently go like this so you can see the crimping underneath spray it with hairspray just the top and here is my pocket straight bob so as you can see even though it's straight i don't like it like really flat and stuck to my head i like to have a bit of volume and movement and with the extension pieces i can add a bit of thickness and volume to the very fine and thin thin hair at the front okay my lovelies i hope you enjoyed this video I will do another one how I curl my hair but there will be a bit different curls a bit like bigger fatter curls so I do that for you at some point but for now that's all thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous bye